ILD for bending moment and uh, with ILD diagram that ILD we have to uh, apply a some logical operation here to determine which load uh, being at the uh, being at the peak of the ILD for bending moment uh, causes maximum moment okay so let me do it so this is the ILD for uh, bending moment at C okay so C A B and the magnitude being as A B by L okay A B by L but the main question is among these points okay among this point load which point load being at this point produces maximum moment is to be determined so for this a little logical operation has to be uh, performed okay so what we do is as the train of load is moving from left to right so we will uh, pass each load from left to right okay this being as the right hand side and this being as the left hand side so crossing all point loads all points load uh, all point load uh, from left to right left to right okay so this uh, left hand side right hand side and we have to consider the span for the right, right hand side okay and left hand side respectively and we will put a sign over here okay I will explain wh how it is done so I have a set of loading like this 80 kilonewton 80 kilonewton 200 180 and 120 so at first I will pass 120 kilonewton towards the right okay 120 kilonewton towards the right and the span of the right portion is 12 meter is it 12 meter so it is 10 and at the right hand left hand side i have 80 kilonewton 80 kilonewton 200 and 180 the span length is 12 meter so i will get the value as 80 plus 80 200 plus 180 divided by 12 I get 45 so 45 being greater okay so this is the application of sign now 180 also crosses towards right portion then 120 plus 180 span length 12 this becomes 25 now you can see that it will be increasing it will be decreasing so 80 plus 80 plus 200 divided by 12 that is 80 plus 80 plus 200 by 12 this being 30 still it is greater than this value now 80 plus okay move this 200 towards the right portion 200 plus 180 120 by 12 so 200 plus 120 plus 180 divided by 12 41.67 and in the right left portion i have 80 plus 80 by 12 that gives me 160 by 12 so 13.33 so now this right side is greater than the left side so this means when 200 kilonewton okay when 200 kilonewton comes towards the right portion okay comes towards the right portion maximum bending moment occurs okay so this suggests me uh, this being the ILD for bending moment okay ILD for bending moment 200 kilo Newton should be acting at this point And remaining portion as usual according to the distance from 200 kilo Newton okay so the magnitude of this can be obtained by a B into L 
a being 12 b being 12 and the whole span 24 so it is 6 okay so again applying the similar triangle we can find the value of this y3 y4 perpendiculars so y1 is equal to 6 by span that is 12 multiply by this distance being 3 this is 2 meter 3 meter 2 meter 3 meter so 200 uh, 5 5 minus uh, 12 minus 5 7 so 6 by 12 multiply by 7 3.5 meter okay similarly y2 can be also be calculated this being 12 this being 3 meter so 9 that is 6 by 12 multiply by 9 we get 4.5 so i'll be with i'll do directly now okay y3 this being 12 this being 10 okay so 6 by 12 multiply by 10 we get 5 and finally y4 is equal to y4 is equal to uh, 120 sorry uh, 6 by 12 multiply by total distance 5 so 5 minus 7 again 3.5 now as usual multiply the point load by the perpendicular then we'll get the maximum bending moment at c or at any section so for which 80 multiply by 3.5 plus 80 multiply by 4.5 200 multiply by 5 uh, 1 200 multiply by 6 sorry and 180 multiply by 5 120 multiply by 3.5 we can calculate it 80 into 3.5 plus 80 into 4.5 80 into 3.5 plus 80 into 4.5 plus 200 into 6 plus 180 into 5 plus 120 into 3.5 so 3160 kilonewton meter is the maximum bending moment in the section c so in this way maximum bending moment is calculated